Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys enjoyed the video today. We're going to go through the Warriors game against the Dragons, but mainly the biggest thing that's happened this weekend with the Warriors is we have locked in a top four spot. It's the first time since 2007 the boys have come home with a top four spot. One more game to go, obviously, to the end of the season. we got the Dolphins next week, which is going to be an incredible matchup. I'm going to that one currently, but... Just so good to see the boys after one preseason, one preseason under Webby, which is absolutely incredible to think of. We came off a season before where we were the second worst team in the competition. We possibly had the worst season that we've ever had as an organization, maybe pre like, you know, the salary cap sort of stuff and all that. But honestly, like this is absolutely incredible what this team has achieved. And, you know, I'm going to touch on the game just a tiny bit in this video because uh, more so the fact of the, the more we touch on week to week, and I feel like this happens with the content and the way everything goes is the more we see week to week, and these haven't been incredible performances. These are not 40 to 10 wins against, you know, uh, lower opposition, which, you know, the Dragons to their credit, they are, you know what I mean? Like they are a lower team in this competition, but like if we start looking at what the season was and what this whole thing is and the journey that we've been on we are in such a great position and to think that you know the old warriors if we really thought about this right if we really sat down and thought about the old warriors towards the end of this year where we looked at our draw and we looked at all the bottom teams that we had running into the finals could you honestly say that, you know, the old Warriors and not the old Warriors as in the fact of, because I feel like there's a misconception on the old Warriors. You know, there was years that we've had back to back amazing like teams and that in the early 2000s and then like even like mid 2000s and then some like the early teens and all that. We've had some really good teams. The 2018 team very recently is like one of our better teams as well. If you really think about it off memory, we we're just pretty unlucky to go against the Panthers team in that year where uh, obviously Roger went down with injury Shawnee had injuries and like a whole lot of things did go wrong with us in that finals but if you actually think of this season in general like it's absolutely incredible like we would have lost those games in previous years those inconsistent Warriors teams that has been known and always been given to us that we are such an inconsistent team and we've seen it very very recently within the last couple of years obviously even last year you know we had moments of last year where we were like the Dragons we were like the Gold Coast Titans we were like the Tigers and that where we were coming towards the end of the year and we showed spots of amazing performances here and there but consistency we wouldn't be there and if we saw like you know teams that maybe if we're in like hanging the eight position we saw a whole run home of like lower bottom teams i honestly believe that every single one of you guys out there as a warriors fan would go look at that and go yeah we'll probably win like maybe two or three out of those games and then drop a game that we don't need to drop and this is the thing that we got like we have changed this year and it's what ma massive credit to webby this year for what he's done and he's instilled like effort he's instilled defensive like know-how the way we move as a team and in, in this game our attack definitely didn't click the way we needed to and we did bomb so many massive opportunities you know 11 errors in this game which really took away from us really putting some really big points on our kicking game was absolutely incredible i honestly thought shorty had one of his better games kicking in this game uh pin team in the corner i felt like what let that down was discipline obviously but also you know the errors when we had like some really nice attacking ball there was a couple of moments where i felt like shawnee maybe was pushing here and passes and that but i don't really want to touch on too many negatives because i really want to like everyone here because i've seen in some in the comment section we can get really like nailed down week to week what's going on with the team why is it not performing where it is but now look at the season. Like, I honestly think I sit back and I know that we should be looking at as our, our team as, you know, we need to get better. We can get better. Like, what can we do to get better and all that? But I also do want to feel like that, you know, as humans, we do need to sit back and look at everything as a whole. And this season has been a success, like an absolute success. Name the amount of teams that could have turned from what we were, a team that was away from home for three years. You know, we pretty much, our development system was all shot. We were away at home. We had three or four different different homes in Australia, you know, Redcliffe being one of the latest ones that we had a falling out with and all that sort of stuff going on with the club. We had players that signed on contracts for us that didn't fulfill their full contracts due to many personal situations where they stayed at home in Australia. We had a coach, a couple of like multiple coaches within those years. We had Nathan Brown that was supposed to take us to the promised land at that time. Phil Gill was supposed to bring back our development systems and all that. And that all fell away. All these things that were promised to us all fell away. But Webby comes in and Webby instills just, just a backbone in this club. He instills 
effort. He instills, you know, working hard for one another and being a Warriors. Now we got a whole team in New Zealand. If you think about it, just the team in New Zealand is taking over the media in New Zealand is taking over the, you know, 28,000 or whatever that turned up at Mount Smart over the weekend or 25,000. I think it's 28 or something like that. You guys have been turning up every single game and whenever I watch it live, it makes me smile. Like if it's so weird when you watch the TV and you, you just look at it and go like, man, like, uh, and, you know, obviously I'm an Australian based fan, so I can't go to them. But even when we had the game in the Gold Coast, when we had the game, you know, we're about to go to Suncorp and I know for a fact the boys, everyone will turn up at Suncorp. It's just incredible being on this ride. The walkout, the entrances of the team. This team has become box office this year. We're a top four team now. And if you actually think about it, you know, anyone in the comment section that goes down below, that's like, we're not performing as a top four team. Tell me another team this year that consistently has just won games, even though we haven't been playing as well, you know, under maybe the Melbourne Storm, the Penrith Panthers and the Brisbane Broncos. Like the Sharkies had a couple of weeks. We started that mainly, you know, where they just look dire for like, look like they were completely out of the eight. We got the Rabbitohs that are in complete shot. Like they're shot at the moment. I don't know what's going on with the Rabbitohs. You got the Newcastle Knights that are starting to find their feet this season, but you know, you can't really say that like they're performing like a top four team. We are performing like a top four team this season. It's incredible. We've beaten everyone we needed to beat. You know, we haven't beaten maybe like, you know, obviously the Roosters games that we do pick off the top of our head, the Rabbitohs games, the Roosters always seem to have it over us, you know, but you know, the, Broncos this year is always going to be a tough opposition that a like top team in the comp. The Panthers are the top team in the comp. The Melbourne Storm, where we were very unlucky in that game, as we know. Like this season has been absolutely incredible. And I, I I really wanted to get that across to you guys because I feel like that's a lot more important than when we think about this game in general. And when I heard, like I jumped on a live stream with obviously, I didn't jump on, but I watched the live stream of Waz Up Podcast. Go shout him out. Amazing potty. And also uh, Warrior Holic jumped on and they were talking about it. And Warrior Holic actually said something amazing. And I don't think he meant to say it to like, for me to take it the way it is. But he said, I don't even care we lose next week. And like, because we've got ourselves to the position, we hope like we maybe rest players and keep injury free. But this season is such a success. We don't care if we lose that last game this year. I would absolutely love if we win this next game and we go into the finals in massive form, amazing form, all this and that. But take this serious, like take the season as a whole. This season has been absolutely incredible. We've had Sean Johnson come back and now he's finally getting the props that he should have had early on in his career when he won the golden boot and all these sort of moments. Injuries were the only thing that hampered him. We had Chance Nickel Clockstar go from the Raiders where he was unwanted at the Raiders and he's turned into an absolute superstar. He was incredible in this game today. He was so incredible. It wasn't even today. It was last night, but he was absolutely incredible. He was everywhere in that game. We have players like Adam Pompey that people do love to hate of what he is, but you know, he's scoring try for us. He's the post-contact meters that man has in him is just amazing. We had, obviously, the start of the year, we had Viliami Vailia that we wanted to be in that center role so badly. I know so many people that have. We not currently have Rocco Berry and Adam Pompey as our center's role, and I'm not arguing to say, like, we could get better in that position, but they're not that bad. We have RTS coming next year, which is absolutely incredible. We have Jackson Ford, a toiler that we got from the Dragons, and now he's looking like a premier edge back rower. We got Nick Corey when he's in that lineup. He is so damaging. We got obviously Mitch Barnett when he comes back off injury, but he's been so aggressive in that four back that has just given Adam Fenor Blake a partner in the middle there. And a tell like tell just finish it off with Dallin Martinez, Lesniak, and Montoya, two players that were gone unwanted from the Bulldogs. Out of all teams in the competition, the Bulldogs didn't want those two players. And now look what they're like. You know, Dallin Martinez Lesnak is possibly the premier winger in the competition right now, and we have him in our club. And this is the credit to the work that Webby has done this year. You know, Tohu Harris, our captain, has been amazing. He's scoring tries, like, top to bottom. Joshy Curran used to be our mainstay starter. Every week, I, I wanted Joshy Curran as our 13 to go throughout, uh, throughout the whole year. Now I can't even complain what his sort of position he's even in. Like if he's sitting on the bench, I'm happy because, you know, he's going to come out there and he's going to fill in a spot. He filled in at centre for the last, you know, how many minutes of that game. Rocco Berry had to go off, you know, I think pretty early on in this, the first half. I think it just happened after that young bloke from the Dragons got injured. Uh, fine now. I hope he's doing well and all that. But, you know, just incredible what's going on with the Warriors this season. I cannot believe 
what's happening. You know, Luke Metcalf has gone from, you know, not wanted at the Sharks. You know, I don't think the Sharks really found a way to really get him into the lineup where he's now become come to our team. And hopefully he goes well after his injury, which is freaking, oh man, I feel so bad for him in that. But just so Oh man, I I got no words for the season, and I feel like I feel like I really want to give it out to you guys that way. This video, I really want you guys to see it from that way. Don't look at this game as the Dragons. Maybe like you know, we did not perform to our best against the Dragons because I really don't think we did, and I honestly don't think we have for the last how many weeks. We haven't been in form, but. The one thing that's so different about this Warriors team this year and has been different about the Warriors for, you know, from years past is we're winning games that we should be winning no matter what team is going out there and the way we're performing. We're finding ways to win games no matter what. We are winning first and defensively we're holding in with one another and that is the biggest thing is the biggest plus to see a Warriors fan is the effort that, you know, the fans have for us and what, you know, we're getting back from our players. So, Really do love what the boys are doing this year. Shout out to all the boys. We've got a massive game against the Dolphins next week. Obviously, as I said, you know, Luke Metcalf is out with injury, which is sad. But Tamari Martin does come into this lineup. And the experience of Tamari is going to be really nice to have next to Shawnee. Hopefully, that connection grows very, very quickly coming into the finals. So we can give it a good shot. But already, I've chalked this down as a success. This whole season is a success. I don't care what's going on. I hope we do win a chip. I hope, obviously, Sean Johnson wins a daily M. I hope all the best things happen for our team. But if I look at this season, 2023, this is a successful season. And I hope that we grow from this. And I can see I, I have so much confidence in my team that we're going to grow from this season. Coming into next season, RTS coming in. Webby, the coach that, you know, to start the season, if you actually check out my uh, talk with like uh, hold the ball and all that, like when he said, what do you think about Webby? I was confused of why we're signing someone like Webby when there were so many other, you know, experienced coaches out in the market that we could be bringing into the club. And it's been happening for us for so many years. We bring in some coaches that we just look at and we go, why? Sometimes why? But this one, I got completely wrong and I absolutely adore our coach. I think he is amazing for us. I think he's changed us completely inside and out, but he just resembles what I feel like the Warriors are as an organization. When he sits there and talks to the press, he talks to them with respect. He talks to them like he, you know, obviously he doesn't really hold back too much. He just sits there, he gives honest views, but he laughs, he smiles. He also, you know, I feel like he knows the way that he can talk to the boys. And as I said, usually whenever we go into halftime, didn't really happen in this game so much, but usually whenever we go into halftime, we come out a better team. And I, that credits a really great coach. So shout out to all the boys. Really do appreciate every single one of you guys who are tuning in. So sorry that it's not going in depth about this Dragons game. I could have gone really in depth. I have a whole lot of notes on it, but I feel like, you know, in general, I would really want everyone as a Warriors fan because I feel like the comment section sometimes can be a bit more of like what we've done wrong this is why we can change like what's happening why is this happening but I feel like we need to sit back and go on. we come from a team that was absolutely woeful last year absolutely woeful it was not any standard that we ever wanted to but we accepted it because of what happened over you know the COVID years but We've come from that to becoming one of the best teams in the competition right now. And that is absolutely incredible. Really do appreciate you guys. Take it easy. Peace out.